Hello guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to do something different. I'm uh, going to be building a boat. So I'm going to be building the uh, Chesapeake Lightcrafts uh, version of the Simple Dory. Uh, this is kind of what it's going to look like. It's the idea. 24 inches long and I think about 7 inches wide. I've never built one of these before so this will be a uh, learning experience for me. Go ahead and take a look at the parts. So, I think these are the uh, rails you got to cut out. Copper wire, so this will be stitched together and then glued. With the uh, sides of the boat. Uh, it's pretty big, yeah, 24 inches. And it's a very simple kit, uh, being that I've never built one of these before, I wanted to keep it simple. Um, this will be the seating area that sits into it. So these parts here get popped out. And that's the bottom and rear of the boat. So go ahead and get started. Alright, so I got the pieces all pulled out of the uh, out of the wood. So now I'm just uh, sanding them down to get them nice and flush. Okay, so now we're going to use the copper wire to start stitching it together. So this is basically just a temporary hold to get the sheet and then the glue will uh, keep it and then you remove this copper. Okay, so I've got the basics of the boat all stitched together. So you do the three stitches up front three stitches on each end of the uh, back of the boat and then you stitch across the bottom to kind of cinch it all together so I'll uh, tighten up on all of those make sure it's a nice and tight fit but so far it's come along pretty good starting to look like a boat Okay, so now I've got the seating area mounted in there, so it gives it really more of a proper shape for the boat. So the uh, basic assembly of this boat is actually complete at this point. Uh, the rest of it is going to be gluing and finishing, uh, filling. But uh, this is the basic construction of the boat itself. So that part is done. Again, we still got the copper in place because we have to epoxy glue to give this the rigidity uh, to hold its shape. All right, so uh, as I said, the basic construction is done. It has cleaned up the. Uh, copper bits because the next part will be uh, using some epoxy to seal all of the uh, edges in the boat so I'm going to go ahead and do that next just want to give you an idea on uh, scale for it again it's uh, 24 inches long uh, it's not really a scaled vessel for 1 6 scale but uh, that's kind of the idea I'm going to be using it for uh, it does seem to scale in relatively well so, basic uh, G.I. Joe in it, just to give you an idea on what it would look like. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, gluing the boat up. Alright, so I uh, finished the, uh, the epoxy process. So, it's all been glued up and got a little bit messy here and there, but... Uh, all of the uh, major seams are glued up so now I can remove the copper and see if it holds together okay so I've removed all of the uh, the copper stitching and boat has held together so I'm just gonna get started on the sanding process gonna have to do some filling uh, so I picked up some uh, some wood filler 
So we'll be filling this in, sanding it down, getting it ready for paint. We've got some pretty cool paint colors I think it's going to look good on this. But uh, let me go ahead and continue the prep. Okay, so uh, did the wood filler, gonna let that dry and then I'll uh, go ahead and sand it down and start the preparations for paint. So that's where it's at right now. Alright, so I have done most of the prep work. Uh, so getting pretty much uh, ready for paint, uh, filled in everything, done all the sanding, done extra re-gluing to make sure it's waterproof. So uh, it's going to be a little bit more fine sanding and this should be pretty much ready to go for paint. So uh, what I'm using for paint, uh, what I'm going to do is the matte uh, clamshell color. For the interior and then I'm going to do thought this was a nice color the matte beach glass for the outside of the boat and then I picked up some satin crystal clear uh, to go over it to give it a nice uh, finish uh, also I have glued together the uh, the uh, little uh, I guess it's a rim piece that's going to go on here, but I'm only going to mount this after I'm done painting because I've uh, I've actually painted this with the uh, the matte clamshell already. So I figure I'll do the interior, then the exterior, and then this will cap it off nicely. So that's the plan. All right, so the uh, basic paint job is uh, done. So. That's kind of how it turned out. Okay, so this is the conclusion of the simple dory from Chesapeake Light Craft. Uh, I think it turned out pretty neat. It's a pretty simple kit. But, uh, you know, with epoxy and glue and filler and sanding, you know, it can take up a bit of time to complete. That's my first model boat that I've ever put together, so that's not perfect. But I think it did turn out pretty nice. As you can see, I got the, the Sea Adventure in it. I like the uh, colors. Uh, I got the idea for this color uh, from the box art from the Sea Adventure. It has this color uh, predominantly on the box so I thought it would be fitting uh, I might have to give this boat a name uh, so if you have any ideas or suggestion you can leave that in the comment section below but uh, we'll go ahead and take a closer look at this And again, like I said at the beginning, it's a 24 inch long dory. So, again, I'm not really sure what the scale would be, but it seems to scale pretty well with uh, 1 6 scale figures. Uh, it is built to float, so, may do that uh, soon. 
see if it actually does float and again the colors is the uh, sea glass for the uh, the hull and the interior is clamshell Well, that's it. That is the Chesapeake Light Craft Simple Dory completed. Hope you enjoyed following along. And as always, thanks for watching. So, uh, let's see if she floats. So far, so good. All right, let's try it with an action figure. It seems to be working pretty good. Looks like we got a success. I don't see any leaks. Pretty cool.